Hello, in today's video I will show you how to make scrolling background for our game. So if you if I now press on my device and if I hold the button I'm flying with the rocket and as you can see here the background is scrolling behind the rocket. So and here on the right screen you can see here the background is always transferred correctly to the position of the rocket so rocket will never fly out of our background. So let's start working. If you have done everything the same as I did in previous episodes, here under camera container, <coughs> you will have your background. So what we want to do now is to create empty uh, empty game object, rename it to the BG container. It's, it will be container for the background. Reset its uh, transform to be zero zero zero, and move it to be the child of our camera. Uh, make background to be child of our background container and duplicate this background now with Ctrl D, hold Ctrl to move your background with equal steps and move it to be connected from our background from our middle background from on the top side. Now Ctrl D once again and connect it from bottom. Don't forget to keep Ctrl pressed. Okay. So what we want to do next is to create script to scroll our background. So to do that, just create C sharp script, name it background controller, okay we have it now, and yeah, I didn't open background controller and we'll need three variables here. First one will be a reference for our camera, so for our camera container of course, public transform cam reference. So this is our reference. We want to add speed or we want to be able to define the speed uh, that our mm, background is scrolling with. So scroll speed and we need for our calculations to have our start position of our backgrounds so right float this is a private variable because we don't want to access the variables outside of our script so on the start just write start pause is equal start position is equal to transform that position that y. So is the starting position of our background container container we have here. So let's move our script, our background container. Okay, and maybe we can already create camera reference, and let's make the scroll speed like 0.01 for now. Okay. And let's make some more script. We want be to we want to update our uh, our background in the fifth update. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, it will be updated by equal steps and also our it will be depend on speed of our camera which is depending on speed of our rocket, which is updated in fixed update because of the physics working on our rocket. So yeah, please make your, all your updates of the scrolling background in fixed update. Okay. <clears throat> so what we want to define is uh, float, the distance, mm, or maybe the scroll, yeah, this will be, Hmm. This will be the exact scroll of background. This is the, the scroll speed. We'll be multiplying our transform position uh, to create the speed. So maybe let's call it scroll distance. So to define it better, it will be it's the distance that we want to transform our background during the fixed update time. So it's like 
during the time 0 0.02, we want to move our background by this variable. And this variable is our reference transfer position y. Mm, camera f is mm. position that y uh, camera f why I'm why it's throwing an error. Ah, okay. Still sound, something went wrong. Ah, yeah, that's because uh, I was writing that value. Here. Should be okay now. Mm, okay, let's multiply it by our scroll speed. Okay. And what we're going to do here is just transform that position. It will be change of our background position by new vector to that to uh, add the new vector two. And now on the position x, as you remember, the position x. If we mark our background, is this position, so we don't want to change this position to the our current position, so it will be zero. So here we can write zero, or just to be more clear, just write transform position that x. And what we want to do now is to update our y position. So this is green arrow. So let's write start position position so start start position plus our scroll distance. Okay, and now our our background will be scrolling. So what we are exactly doing here is that we are be moving our background inside our camera container game object. So if we press play now and we will move our rocket our as you can see here on the left screen, our our mm, background is scrolling. So let's fly our rocket, and yeah, and we are outside of our background. So what we want to do now is to be able to transfer blocks of our mm, to change the position of our background. So our background will always uh, be. Mm, be behind our rocket and yeah I will write the function for that it's hard to explain it will be just transfer itself uh, change itself uh, the position for for the background will will change its position during update cycle hmm. okay so maybe let's slow it down a little bit more maybe let's make it like 0.01 yeah so now I'm pressing on my screen you, you can see here how how it works okay so what we want to do here is just um, we will need that one more va variable because now uh, you don't see it probably because it's too slow, but let's make it one and let's press play. So if our rocket is flying, no, one is also not the <laughs> best value because it will not change. Mm. 
0 0.8, let's press play. Here, if I fly our, fly our rocket, yeah, as you can see here, it's moving. Mm, yeah, it's too slow moving. But it's moving downwards. Uh, let's do it like that. And if I fly, so sooner or later I will fly out of our background. So we want reverse variable now for that. So to do that, let's make float. Scroll this. Yeah, let's add to air or something. And let's make the same calculation, but this time one minus scroll speed. Mm, okay. So now, if we will just make if our background. Oh no 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 background but uh, scroll is bigger than start yeah I need to work on names for those variables more <laughs> uh, plus and we want our distance that we have moved our background so it will be like 12 as you can see here plus 12 we want just to move our background to our start position equal start position plus 12 and the same in the opposite direction minus 12 Point smaller. Let's make else condition here. Mm. And now, oh, sorry. Mm. Now, now, now it should be minus twelve. Mm. Okay, and that should work fine. So, if we go to our command controller screen, let's press play. And here, mm, yeah, let's move our rocket, and you can see here what's happening. Our scroll, our background is like transferred to the middle again, and it's doing uh, happening during yeah, one frame cycle, so nothing is visible here. If I let our rocket to drop, you can see here how fine it's scrolling. Let's eject our rocket, and I'm flying now, so you can see here how find our background is scrolling behind our rocket. Okay, I hope uh, this tutorial was helpful for you. Uh, we could do some more modification. For example, the scroll speed could be um, our rigid body. We could reference here our rigid body for our rocket. And then the scroll speed of the, of the background would change together with the speed of the rocket. But for now, do not make any more confusions, uh, because I think for somebody this might be a little bit confusing, at least if you have, if you see it first time. So to not make any confusions, we will probably, when we work on our game field or game dynamic field or that arcade field, uh, we will probably modify this variable to be referencing our speed of our rocket. But for now, let's keep it like that. So that's all what I have for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching and if you like the video, please uh, put the thumb up, press yeah, press that uh, like button and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye.